What is happening there, Rejectos? We're gonna watch ourselves The Witcher of Vothmer, episode seven of season two. Is penultimate? I think so, yeah. Finally. Seven of eight. God, can't wait for this crap show to be over. <laughs> so that we can wait for season three. Guys, hit that like button if you've made it this far in the video. We've earned it. <laughs> also, subscribe and click that notification bell to get notified when our reaction for the finale of this is up. Full length watch alongs, as always, over at our Patreon page. Major thank you to all become super ejects by checking out all our content over there. Your support means a lot. And lastly, thank you to the boys at Prepper for helping us edit down these highlights. You know what? A lot of people don't thank the people who uh, help them edit down stuff sometimes. And I like to uh, pride us on it. Instead of putting the spotlight on them, I want to put the spotlight on us mm. for making sure to thank them. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? We're, we're really good at that. Yeah, how much work Especially that takes for, for us to get out of the way and just mention that? You deserve a pat on the back for that, I do, dude. yeah, so. Well done, dude. Like, I just feel like I deserve the credit. You're a pinnacle of this community right now. <sighs> Those editors are lucky to have you. They are. <laughs> and uh, I could just find anyone else. Anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> You need to let me take care of your wounds. Oh. Do you believe Yennefer means to harm the girl? I wish Yennefer knew of the balance you spoke of, but I learned my lesson about Yennefer and wishes. <laughs> we assume the worst because we fear to hope. That's how I feel every time I upload a video. <laughs> <laughs> Can attest to that. If Nilfgaard's got him, if, they'll hold him to lure you there. Where? Their nearest outpost. Sintra. No, no. I fantasized about going back, finding the Black Knight, and shoving my sword through his throat until his feathers are soaked in blood. It's crazy how she doesn't suspect Yennefer at all. I know. Carol trusts her. We must go to Sintra, together. We must hurry. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of goofy. <laughs> Chaos will be yours. <laughs> this little wicked witchy. Just <laughs> a tad campy. I don't want to burden you. A new position of authority doesn't change the fact. But I love you. Was this established earlier? Not, uh, it's kind of new to me. <laughs> <laughs> if it was, it was subtle or I miss him. Half of the elves did not muster for training this morning. The celebration of the child's birth went late into the night. I will talk to them. You are not their commander. But she is their leader. Yeah. There's a difference. If the elves refuse to serve, let me deal with them. The generals will respect a strong hand. Oh, it's like you want that to happen. You want that to happen. I, I was looking for food. I'm no spy. Are you going to do it? My lady. For fuck's sake. Just Oh, gosh. So lock me up and stop me up and throw away the key. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank Say you another know word and I'll cut your tongue out. Your harmonies were a little pitchy. Gordon, you're amazing. Talent recognizes talent. Let's go again. Three, four, and lock. Yeah. Shit. And throw away the key. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Good sir, you would not know talent if I shoved it up your girl. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> I need your help. Fine. <laughs> Fine. He's your protector. He's the father I never had. Daddy. What was between you and Geralt? Misunderstandings. Regret, hope, and fear. You love him too. Everyone loves Geralt. How can you not? To, he's like a cat. You gotta work to earn his affection. I trust you're unaware that your fighters failed to show this morning. I heard. Well, then I trust you'll make sure it never happens again. Many of us have had a change of heart. Well, then you change it back. Oh. I must ask, are these your words or Cahir's? 
I value the bond we have, but family, that's the only bond that can't be broken. And that's the one I must protect. Awkward. We are now frenemies. She was on the run. She lost her magic. She lost her magic? Yeah, I know. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> Look, when the Redanian guards grabbed her, she muttered something about forests and mothers and huts. She's in league with a deathless mother. Well, she sounds like a who. <laughs> Lethmere is a demon that feeds on pain. Uh-oh. We need to go to Sintra. Why, what's in Sintra? Ooh. Yup. I knew it! Ah. I knew it! I was like, the dwarfs are here. Yeah. So, the reunion episode. You remember my men? Oh, of course. Good to see you all again. I have absolutely no recollection of any of these people. Just <laughs> say that right in front of them. Not my usual type. You'll do. Roach for it. <laughs> We're going on an adventure. <laughs> what a good thing they just stumbled <laughs> across. <laughs> across. <laughs> Team and horse. Super easy. <laughs> Barely an inconvenience. All right, Siri, time to magic up a bridge. Lesson number two. Let's see what your chaos can do. Don't strain. Trust your power to do the work. No. I can do it. We'll find another route. Your, your eyes are bleeding. Oh. Yeah. Siri, stop! Stop! Uh. <laughs> that was cool. Fuck magic. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know what happened. When you have power like this, never apologize. By the way, your eyes are bleeding. <laughs> yeah, just don't look in a mirror anytime soon. I saw Zira left Sintra at Sodden. They were looking for you. Jennifer. Yes. They believed she was dead. Oh, I had a chance to clarify for him, but I never did. <laughs> <laughs> if what she says is true, this child has the potential to end all war and start a new one <laughs> yeah. wreck the whole earth in the process i will not continue to put my girls at risk unnecessarily i wouldn't ask you to if it wasn't necessary she's so much more vulnerable this time around look i'm sorry <laughs> calm down <laughs> i have always considered you my equal partner even though you get paid half as much as me <laughs> I brought in the elves to fight for us, but they have had a change of heart. You are my blood. Blood is a bond that can't be broken. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've heard that before. There are those who are obsessed with finding power, and there are those who know their place. You know which one you are, thank gods. Mm. You wouldn't have come back here if you didn't. Now you wouldn't be about to leave. <laughs> Are we ever going to have a full-on war with Nilfgaard? You know, in season Building 10. two seasons now. <laughs> From here on out, I want to focus on keeping that elven hope alive. Tell Deepstra I'm done. You just signed your death contract. We're supposed to be on the same side. Searching for Princess Cirilla. As soon as we unload Frangilla's dead weight. If we don't, all our heads will be on the top. Mm -hmm. Professor Xavier. <laughs> I have so much resentment for my Aratus in training that I forget. <laughs> and where else could I have learned the paralytic qualities of Nightshade? My most valuable lesson, though. Given my last night there. Creepy. When Yennefer Wengerberg stole the seat of Aiden to which I was entitled. Kill him. Taught me. Whenever I lesson like you just stop what is yours, you do not sit there. Take it. Wow. Cool. <laughs> Power. Seize it. Cool. Oh man, she's doing like the Logan thing. Yeah. You must do whatever is required. Oh. <laughs> I love <Wow>. it. <laughs> Love it. To what you've earned. 
Oh. It's when he arrives tomorrow. Rave. <laughs> yeah, awesome. <laughs> Are you sure that guy's dead, though? The one with the eye? He might have just lost an eye. Yeah. <laughs> tomorrow matter than ever. <laughs> yeah. Freaking eye patch and all. You never even wanted this child in the first place, and now, now it's like she has turned your entire world upside down. What I'm really asking you is... Why couldn't I have been that child? <laughs> and what about Yennefer? She's had Siri. I may just have to kill her. Look, people do stupid things when they think they're trapped in a corner, girl. And that's what friends do. They come back. This is different. It's gonna be a time where Jaws out here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in a prison cell singing somewhere to mice. <laughs> How can it look the same? Everyone I've known is gone. What's going on with the monoliths and the monsters and all that? Yeah, that Chernobog just flew off that last episode. When you had magic, you controlled the chaos. But it controls me. No one's been able to teach me how to use it. I mean, your two lessons have gone pretty well. <laughs> yeah, the lessons are repeat this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> say what I said and be magic. <laughs> Me to the shattered black door. Test. Whoa. You still have time to turn back. It's not too late. And you? For me it is. My chaos. I thought I had to. Wow. I need to get to him. He's not here. He never was. I was shaking to believe you. Yeah. I was stupid. And I was selfish. You have to come with me. Oh. Why would you? Yeah. I don't trust you. Ah, oh, great. Hey, how's about we break another monolith, shall we? Solve the no, you gotta get the fuck out of there now. Siri, time to yell. Yeah, scream. <laughs> scream fuck really loud. We gotta fight out! Little brat. Get over the Oh, yes. Yes. my man, hey. my dwarves. <laughs> whoa, 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 nice catch. <laughs> hey, protector. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Hold him. No. Oh. 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 <laughs> How could you do this? I'm so sorry. She had to change her heart at the last minute to give her a break. Yeah. <laughs> she did the thing. She did benefit the doubt, man. Say it. Turn your back to the forest. Hut, hut. Oh, goddamn, girl. Turn your front to me. Hut. Hut. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this show does hate babies. Oh, God, this show hates babies. Oh. <laughs> Oh, cool. Nice. Oh, that's neat. Oh, she being set free. She shouldn't be able to escape unless she's had her fill of pain and desperation. Shouldn't have left Siri. Really shouldn't have left Siri. Yep. And oh, it's begun! Oh, 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 oh no. Uh, <sighs> so all he has to do is kill Siri. Yeah. Yeah. 
And then we can move on. Be fine. I think she's holding the show back. Siri? This is from, um, yeah. Really taking off that direction right. it could go. Could be a better show, I'm just yeah, saying. man. We could have a monster slay of the week, but instead we got Siri. All right. All right, let's talk about it. Look, guys, I'm John. Oh, hey. Oh, look, I'm, look at him, John. You look even better than I do. You look at Vilgefortz right now. Sexy ass mage you. What's up, Vilgefortz? <laughs> you know, he's the, <laughs> he's the elf guy who just lost his kid. Just kidding, that's Philip Andrel, whose name I finally have committed to memory. <laughs> yeah. Because every time he shows up, I'm like, okay, well, as soon as they say his name, I'm committing it to memory seven episodes later. Got it. <laughs> he's the elf that I feel like I should care more about, but I just, I just don't. He's the elf you think him. is going to be awesome at some point, and, and for the most part, it's just kind of there. <laughs> he's in season one. He's in Nightmare of the Wolf. He's, in, he's imported here, but I'm like, I just don't. Yeah, I don't, he's not that interesting to me. He's just kind of, he's kind of a pushover uh, in a lot yeah. of ways. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, this was good. This was a little bit. Some this this one felt a little. Uh, I'm not sure what it was about this one. I liked the last half a lot, and there are, there are isolated moments in the first half that I quite enjoyed. I'm just kind of um, just kind of felt like we were watching like, a lot of setup, and I'm like, is this season going to conclude at all, or are I know. we just setting up more of what's to come. The entire <laughs> war is taking place next episode, as well as all of Ciri's final transformation. Well, I don't even know what it is to really expect, because you you got bald-headed, buff Patrick Stewart, uh, you know, whatever that guy's yeah, name yeah. is. <laughs> Deekstra or whatever. Yeah, the one that um, Dara was spying for. Yeah. So you have him. You know, I'm not. I'm just gonna call people by their descriptions. I'll let John handle the names. So you got like Dara, who's uh, yeah spying, and you got that. And it's like, yeah, we got to reclaim Sintra. I was kind of unaware that there were people still in Sintra. <laughs> Those are Nelfgaard warriors, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That because they took over. Uh, so I, I didn't realize like, oh, there are people like watching the land there in Nelfgaard. They have taken over. Yeah, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. So when she did put the hole in the ground, like, oh yeah, that that lines up. Uh, <laughs> I just kind of forgot about that. For I thought it was kind of forsaken for a while. Yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, but then the then you have like, of course, the deathless mother. Uh, looks like that i feel like they're setting up for yennefer like that's my main takeaway with most of this is i feel like they're setting up i feel like they're setting up i feel like they're setting up and yeah. usually when we i talk about an episode i'm kind of talking about the the immediacy of the scenes that we're at on display mm -hmm. like there's a few scenes that i think are highlights like fringilla murdering the people at the table that was, was cool. yeah. a really cool visually realized scene very professor x logan <laughs> uh, but the motive behind it you know because she doesn't she can't go anywhere like she's losing the elves mm -hmm. the elves are like we had one baby this <laughs> changes everything, it changes everything. Yeah. Forget the wall. <laughs> All of us are going to just be this baby's family from yeah. now on. Every single elf. Forget our political alliance. Forget it all. <laughs> and then, you know, like the Nilfgaard people don't respect her. And yeah. then she goes to her uncle, who's like, Neh. Eh, no one respects you, and I don't yeah. too. <laughs> so then, um, you know, like they're building up the white flame, essentially the emperor of the evilness. Yeah. And. You know, so I think her motive behind, you know, you're going to spin this story and you're going to tell him, like, I had to do what I had to do and it was a badass thing that I did what I did, but I still serve you, you know? That was a, that was a good moment. Like, that to me was a great immediate scene. Or um, the the moment with Yennefer and Siri when, you know, they they lock yeah. to te telepathic ways of talking that to each other. Meld thing. Yeah, yeah, something that they could easily just have done with their voices, but uh, you know, <laughs> they're doing it in a cooler they fashion. Gotta make sure you know they're not just talking. <laughs> they're having a mind moment. Yeah, I really like that. Uh, I like that moment a lot too, uh, and especially like Yennefer coming. I really believe that it's as much as fucking predictable as it was that Yennefer, <laughs> it was so it was already predictable without Yaskier having to be like she might change her mind, girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you don't need to set me up for that. Of course, I, I, of course you will. <laughs> And 
you know, like, so then she, that, that whole scene too, I thought was really well acted and, and series acting too, but it does mainly felt, really just felt like they were setting up so many things that some of the actual immediate scenes do you get where I'm, I'm going with that? I, like, and then you even got like firefucker and, and that. I'm like, there's one, like, well, one what, what scene. Is scene? Yeah, like, there's yeah, just yeah. so many different scenes. Yeah. That are we just are we already planting the seeds for season three? Because how could you possibly like wrap up this storyline you you're can. telling in, in one episode in the finale? I'm not expecting a big battle or something, and nor do I expect them to wrap up everything. It just feels like it's feels. As for a season that's felt remarkably focused, I suddenly started feeling like it's losing focus. It, it feels in these last couple of episodes like it's become very scattershot and like there's a whole bunch of threads and yeah, they're all like building to something, but I feel like earlier on there was a better balance of setups and payoffs and things where it's like the first season you knew it was going to continue, but I don't know, it, it still had like a finality or, yeah. or it felt like, yeah, one contained unit. Uh, that could lead to the next unit and uh, th yeah I'm very curious to see where it ends up because right now I, I would agree it's like there's a lot I'm still enjoying and I really like the characters but it doesn't feel quite as focused or finessed either because you know with as with more going on and more scenes to cut to it feels like we're spending less time with more characters almost yeah and... no too there's like a gazillion characters in yeah. this, this is like this is, this is like the check-in episode yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's funny because even in this season it didn't always feel that way and it's that and in the last episode i always said this and and you know like i said i'm still very much enjoying the show overall but these two episodes uh this and the last one have felt a lot more like a tv show than uh you know just kind of the epic story that it's felt like up until this point and yeah there there is a certain sense of maybe maybe everything's just like a lot more just sort of immediately plot based right now or something because i feel like there are less of those in between and quiet moments of character reflection or, or character just tonality that you might have gotten beforehand no it felt like there's you know this fantasy stories often have almost a like Shakespearean quality to the way they handle their drama. Mm. You know, it's, it is very accentuated like that. Uh, but there was moments here where I felt like I was watching a soap opera. But like with like this, I, I don't know. I apparently missed all the clues about <laughs> to say, uh, and one of the few ethnic guys on Vilga the show. Fort. Vilga Fort. <laughs> yeah, Vilga Fort. Yeah. <laughs> and then, hooking up with each other that's what you're saying yeah, yeah. Them, hook, it, like them, them hooking up with each other and um you know like oh, i love you i'm like oh i i didn't i didn't realize we were that far away. Yeah. like i didn't realize you guys were hooking up i mean i didn't realize you were that involved to to that point and I'm, I'm not that interested invested in him to the point where i'm like what yeah but yeah like the way they handle that whole scene with to Saya, uh, Triss, I mean, when he comes in. Yeah. It, it's like watching some weird soap opera play. Yeah. <laughs> Just like comes walking in from the background and like, you gonna tell Here me comes everything. conflict. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna tell him everything. Now I'm fighting with T T Tissaia. Yeah, oh, yeah, now we're yelling at each other. Yeah. Now, Triss, you gotta leave. <laughs> yeah. You gotta storm off and yeah, we're gonna have a dramatic back and forth. The best scenes I thought were with actually the main, the main four. Uh, mm -hmm. of this of which were Jaskier yeah. and and um like I love them being reunited together and I think their chemistry is still great. I like how you can see the trajectory of Geralt's growth by how he's a little more vulnerable with him. Mm -hmm. You know, saying right up front like I missed you, he starts to cry, he cowers in a corner, hits his dick. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, he gets a tattoo of Yasmin's name <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. just to prove how sorry he so is. Drinking his sorrows yeah. away, gets really carried away. Like I'd seen a lot. He asked him to sing the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a good scene, and I liked uh, like those scenes of them together are great. And um, uh, everything with the uh, Yennefer and um, Siri was uh, good. Some timing, plot, convenience stuff. I do think it's funny how, like, I get that series fucking the god, but at the same time, it's like, just say this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is a little convenient. It's well, a little convenient. Well, they, I, they, they, so much to the part where she just gets mad and teleports, you know? Yeah, and it's, it was, I know, I understand that it's part of the emotionality of the character, of the but chaos. at the same time, I was like, 
your training seems to be going just fine. It's just that you haven't been able to like slow down and have like a concentrated yeah. study. You know, you haven't had time to study like a normal person, but every time you have to dip into your chaos, it seems to work. I mean, you're yeah. trying to sword fight, you're trying to become a witcher. Yeah, you're doing a witch. everything yeah. at once, <laughs> yeah. and you're pretty good at most of them. Yeah. Like, just give yourself a chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a great call. Um, and I mean, there is too, it is kind oh, of... the timing of the dwarves too, sorry. Yeah, so no, no. It's no, like the convenience yeah. of that. I'm like, oh, all right. We yeah. Just, hey, there they are. They're, they throw my axe in here. <laughs> well, and it's that. It's it's timing of things like that. And also it's, and, and maybe it's not, uh, you know, out of the, maybe the geography lines up, but it's also falling into that place where I'm like, wait a minute, how far are any of these things from anywhere? Because unless characters are portaling, it seems like anybody can get anywhere in the nick of time <laughs> because yeah, so yeah. many Many things happened in this episode in the nick of time. Yeah. Of like characters arriving, yeah, where just right where they need to be. <laughs> and if they hadn't, what would have happened? Yeah, let's reiterate here, guys. Strong positives for everyone thinks all we do is complain. Yeah. Things we've already pointed out. Main cast, good shit. Geralt and Yaskier. Good shit. I like Yaskier's new song. I'll add that not to the list too. And even yeah. the person, I'm like, I gotta download that. And That's his, great. His sexy body shots. Sequence sexy too. body shots. Apparently, Yaskier's pretty cut. He's very cut. <laughs> Yennefer and um, Siri. Siri. Yeah. Fringilla killing, killing some those, people. Killing those fools, yeah. Great scene. Uh -huh. The way they realize the Deathless Mother as this, like, malevolent threat that. You know, I say I think they should have established that a little bit earlier instead of just revealing it here in this, you know, season. Like, they just talk about that in Nightmare of the Wolf. Am I, do they? I don't, I don't remember. Deathless Mother, I don't remember her as much. Of like imprisoning her. I don't remember if they do. Not. But the show shouldn't require that you no. watch no, 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 no. your animated movie. <laughs> you, know, yeah. like, you know, and that's something I think they, they should have like set up earlier because it would have made the looming threat of that more weight as opposed to. Geralt's just revealing it right now and oh that's, that's a threat you know yeah. it's like that things are just hold more weight and, and it, it becomes a little bit um here's how I've been feeling about th this episode in particular is that the first season felt like it was based off of a book <laughs> yeah. that I really had to pay attention to yeah this feels like they really movied up a novel yes <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> no it's, i think you i think you're right yeah. Yeah. and uh and i like a lot of it obviously it's just it's more about like tonality atmosphere execution because i have the convenience of getting the central so you're yeah. getting at like yeah i mean it's a cool movie moment and i was happy about it well and even the lie working out so the gear like you know it, it has no bearing on but her even lying and being like yeah it's probably already in Sintra, and then sure enough he still shows up there <laughs> yeah. they still find completely unrelated reasons to go to the same place which in some breaths there are aspects of that i like and there are aspects of that where i'm like convenient all right yeah you know because what it, it, it's one of those episodes i think begs you to start asking well what if they hadn't made it in time for this or that what would happen <laughs> you know well yeah it's like there's just this this episode is the timing episode yeah of course like it's like <laughs> the freaking dwarves yep um, you know. Just in the nick of time for for, uh, and they happen to have a horse, <laughs> the horse, yeah. yeah, the the Yennefer with the, the the time to regret what she's about to do, yeah, and to change her mind, like of course she she regretted moments before they should, moments, show, moments yeah. that I have to change a heart, right in time to have a misunderstanding. They go to the deathless mother right when she leaves, yeah, <laughs> yeah you know, yeah. like she's been locked here forever, and now after all these series of events, and so I just think there's there are things about this particular episode where I'm like, it's really well shot. Yeah. The acting is still as grand as ever. Um, and they're really good at realizing things like chaos, like the magic, the way they visually capture yeah, that yeah. makes it feel chaotic, which is true, beautiful. True, true. Yeah, so still, and I think like even the deathless mother with the leg, like really the house yeah. is, a, is, a, is, a, is a sentient type of supernatural force yeah. was really cool. Like I loved the imagery of that. It felt like I was some folklore pages of something I might have read when I was a kid, mm -hmm. you know, um, I read a lot of fucked up things and so yeah, that's what <laughs> I thought of what might have been. I, was, I really liked that a lot. So yeah, there's a, there's a lot here and I'm excited like Yennefer and, and Geralt back together and Yasky are back in the photo, you know? Yeah. These are, these are all really good things. Um, so we'll see, we'll see. 
Yeah. So gross. I, hope I don't really care about the elves. I care about the elves' purpose and cause, and I feel bad for them, but I don't really care about any of the characters. I want to. I want I to actually don't. care. I don't. I almost get there every time, and then there's just not as much as I hope there could be be and i mean you know the dwarves the elves they're not really either featured but in their two small appearances i feel like we've had more sort of connective time with the dwarves yeah <laughs> which i understand have been changed pretty pretty well from the original stories anyway but yeah like i i always feel like ah oh, man whenever we cut to the elves we're mostly just dealing with fringilla yeah. and here and i like fringilla and to an extent i like I liked Kahir way more when he was a fugitive with the beard, uh, but yeah, there, there are things in here that I, that I want, yeah, like you said, I want to be invested in. And I mean, I think it's funny because like there are all the threads and hints here, like going back to the Deathless Mother thing, it's like I loved the intro of that because it was like, okay, this seems sinister, but also maybe beneficial, I can't tell. I wasn't expecting her, I guess they didn't build up properly that the Deathless Mother would be the ultimate threat for the whole season. Because it's kind of how they've treated this ending point. I was like, I thought it was just a problem for the immediate situation at hand for Yennefer. Yeah. And um, or like each of them in an isolated way has their own problem with the Deathless Mother, but not that like this is the linchpin that all of the <laughs> yeah, yeah. figures are connected to. And I figure yeah. like they could have done like they cut to her and they do a version of it, but I feel like they could have done something more effective over the course of the season to really make you be like, oh god, what is this Deathless Mother thing going to pay off into? Yeah, that's what I meant by, and I don't know, maybe that just falls on us for but for not picking up on that well. it's I mean, it's been there. Like, they, they do flashes and cuts and stuff, but that's all I felt like is just sort of... I just feel like it was just contained to, like, certain character motives, not really as the... You know, it's like at least in like the first season, it's really simple. Like Nilfgaard's coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Boy, boy, we better back. <laughs> like that, that, that's the thread, and it's like the details are are there in the yeah. mix of when you, when you shuffle around characters and reasonings to get involved in the fight and mm. and all that. And here I'm like, okay, so like the, everyone's after Siri, but you know, and and, and then I'm like, well, are they doing? I feel like they're for a show that's already so, so compact with like like really so much lore. Yeah. I'm like, All right, I think you guys are, might be doing a little too much right now. Yeah. <laughs> because there's so much. And I, cause like, All right, I guess it's about everyone's trying to get to Siri. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, and, and then now it's like, okay, the Deathless Mother's what attach herself to Siri. Right? That's what it, yeah. that's what it happened. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And and is that the thing that would act? Because I thought Siri was a threat enough as it is on her own. And uh -huh. that's kind of been the worry is that she would go all Daenerys Targaryen yeah, or baby snake you Daenerys. know yeah Wanda from House of M or Dark Phoenix you know like I thought that was the main concern and now it seems like the main threat is Siri deathless mother hybrid yeah, yeah. it's more it, it seems like it's almost more okay what's the threat the different combinations of who gets Siri rather than just Siri and her untapped power herself. So yeah, I'm like, okay, it'll probably click better by the time we uh, get to, by, by the time we watch uh, the final. Uh, my hope is that like all this I'm saying is just like kind of washed away mm. by the time we watch the finale. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, okay, all right, oh, that's better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, you yeah, got to yeah. take it as a whole. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> And sometimes, hey, there's a lot going on right before the big yeah. finale. Because you know? unlike most of you guys, we watch this one episode at a time where most of you who watch the show watch it like in chunks of yeah. like three to four episodes at a time or a whole season at once, which I don't know why you would do that, man. That, that's that's like, exhausting. Exhausting. <laughs> that's like, that's like so many hours. How, how much good like focus does your brain hours have? <laughs> yeah. how, many, how many emotional beats and details are you yeah. really taking in? Yeah. It says so much. But hey, uh, thanks for being here, and uh, we'll see you for the finale next week. See you guys.